Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 15th. Uh, this week, we are just going to jump right in here and we are going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread. We're going to take both of these because they want to come out. And uh, then we are going to clarify at the end with the little tarot here and see what additional details are coming up for you. Uh, also, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. But damn, Gemini, this is really a nice reading for you, actually. So uh, let's see what we have going on for you. This is like some sort of commitment here. I feel like there could be like a very passionate relationship that you're dealing with here, Gemini, or uh, you could be getting into a new uh, kind of passionate relationship. You have this loyal heart card here. So if you're in something already, this looks like a commitment to me. Seven of Wands, the Star, the Ten of Cups with the Four of Wands. Are you kidding me? I feel like there could be definitely some sort of commitment coming in for you here. Uh, for others, I feel like, you know, like I said, I feel like this could just be a person who's loyal to you in general. And so I like that. What else am I getting here? Yeah, you have this round and round card. I'd be careful of repeating cycles in a relationship, but uh, I don't care. This looks good to me. Um, so I, I would say that, like, even if you're thinking about someone from the past here with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, then, you know, I feel this could be something that is really good for you or that will be a positive cycle anyway. So wouldn't even worry about it. But you have the Seven of Wands, the Star, and the Ten of Cups. It's like fortune after difficulty for you here. I feel like for some of you, it's like you set boundaries with that Seven of Wands. And this could be with like a past person. It could just be in your life in general. Sometimes I think like once we set boundaries, then the universe brings us what we want. So it's like if you've had certain issues, if you've gone round and round with people in the past, with the Seven of Wands, if you set boundaries and you no longer allow that type of person into your life, then the universe like gets out of your way and is like, here you go. Here's your true love. <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, if you have been setting boundaries with people or it's almost like you're demanding your worth in relationships, then I feel like you're going to get it, plain and simple. If you're not looking for love, this to me is like there is no other way. Is literally, those are the words that are popping into my head. I feel like for some of you, you see something you, that is your Ten of Cups. It could be like a goal, a wish, a dream. And I feel the Seven of Wands is you saying, there is no other way. I'm, gonna, I'm going to make this happen. And because of that, you're going to make it happen. Plain and simple. Seven of Wands is a card of knowing that you know that you're going to get something. It's a card of conviction. So I feel like because you are so sure of yourself, you are going to accomplish something really great with that Seven of Wands energy. I love it. Uh, to me, this is a very good reading for you here. And it's like the universe feels it with the star. It's like, you know, she's kind of like putting out these ripples in, in the water here. So I feel like you are kind of giving off a vibration at this time, Gemini, and it is going to lead to happiness regardless of whatever else you're doing. You have the mouse spirit it says, tend to the small things. I do feel like for some of you, this is just saying things are improving in your life. So make sure to pay attention to like your family, make sure to pay attention to other things that are important in your life as well. I'm getting all sorts of stuff here. Like you could be making more money, but I feel like this is saying like, also, you know, don't forget about your health or, you know, don't forget about your family or, or things like that. So I really feel this card is more talking about kind of like balancing out the important things. It's like, yes, things are clearly going very well for you or they will be soon if they're not already Gemini. But I feel like this is saying, you know, don't forget about the other stuff that's important as well, like your health, you know, more importantly. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands here. Really good. Something, there's like something is your destiny here, Gemini. You have this Eagle card as well. This card says Spirit has your back. I feel like you don't even see what's coming in for you. The Eagle Spirit represents like eagles in mythology can see very far. They, and they can see all the way to the edge of the world, right, in, in mythology. But they can't see around the curve of the, of the globe, right? They, so it's like they can see far. They know good things are coming in for them. And they can see into the future. But they can't see everything. They, they can't see all the stuff that's coming in for them. And I kind of feel that for you here. It's like... Maybe you are almost sensing that good things are on their way, but it's like, I feel like you don't, you have no idea <laughs> how good things are going to get 
You have the Wheel of Fortune, your your personal vision for your life, but also your destiny. The Ace of Wands, very passionate new beginning. And the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is a card of marriage. So for some of you, this could be marriage to a person. It could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo here. I'm getting or Sagittarius as well is popping into my head. Aquarius definitely stands out to me with the star card. So, you know, it could be an Aquarius. could be any sign. This is just a general reading. But it could be marriage coming in for you. But truly, this is a card of freedom. And especially when it comes up with the Fool card, here some of you are clearly setting yourself free from something or you're finding a lot of freedom i feel like you're finishing things up i almost feel this is like a gift from the universe because the four wands is a card of freedom but it's also a card of like a finish line it's almost like you're finishing something here gemini so uh, i definitely love this for you here uh, next, you have the power card, and you also have this stillness card as well. I literally feel like it is saying there is power in stillness. I'm getting a million things popping into my head for you here, Gemini, that I feel like are very important. Like if you're dealing with a negotiation, I feel like silence is also power with the, with these two cards. So I feel like it's saying like if you're dealing with a negotiation, being in the silent position is going to be very beneficial for you here with this energy. For others... I feel like not making a move is also going to be a power position for you with this energy. Of course, you know, as I always say, like to me in love, for example, I don't think we should just sit back and wait. Like if we're interested in someone, you know, make a move. So if you're interested in a new person, you know, take the leap of faith with the fool. So I don't think this is saying sit back and totally do nothing. But I do feel like it's talking about balance. It's like if you make the move, then allow that person to reciprocate. Don't like chase or anything like that. I feel like it's about equal give and take here. You have the fool, seven of pentacles, and the five of wands here. Two sevens, two, uh, a lot of people this week have had two sevens. Two sevens is internal fears that don't exist. So I feel like some of you need to release your fears. But some of you could be fearing like investing in something with the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is delayed results. And this five of wands could be you questioning something. I do feel you need to be careful of that because seven of wands, ace of wands, five of wands. This could be you like working on a project, working on a business, or working towards some sort of goal, something you're trying to achieve, I feel. And this here, I feel, could be you questioning it. Because like maybe you took a leap of faith here with the Fool card and maybe you're not seeing immediate results. I feel like this is saying just be patient. Don't, don't try to force something to happen with these two cards here. I feel like stillness is your best friend. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying, you know, what's popping into my head is it's almost like saying be okay with the awkward silences. Those are, that, those are like the words that are popping into my head here, Gemini. But I don't think it's literally talking about awkward silences. I feel like it's talking about silences from the universe. Like maybe you're putting work into things, but it's not like you're not seeing immediate results. I feel like this is saying that's okay. You're, the results are coming. And I feel like that's all you need to realize. But this is a very solid reading for you here, Gemini. I love this. Definitely could be like a new beginning coming in for you. If you're looking for love, could be new love. And the fool uh, is a card of companionship and also a card of loyalty. So there could be someone coming in for you who's going to be very loyal to you uh, with this energy. Again, it could be an Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, uh, like I said, with that Wheel of Fortune energy. But let's see here, Gemini. Let's see what is coming up for you. Thank you for being here, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to drop a like on this video. Really appreciate all the support. But Jim and I, uh, let's see what we get going on for you. You have the three wands here. I feel like you're waiting for things to change. We'll talk about that in a second. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. Damn. Gemini, this is really a good reading. And the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, definitely new love. Page of Pentacles to me is a card of new love coming into your life. For the longest time, you've had someone coming in from the past, Gemini, um, to the point where people keep leaving comments accusing me of dating a Gemini. I've never dated a Gemini in my entire life. And people keep saying, stop using social media to get your ex back. Just to be clear, Gemini, number one, if you say that, I'm going to ban you. Number two, uh, never dated a Gemini in my life. But what I would say here, is that for some of you, it could be someone from the past. Wheel of Fortune is the only uh, card in the deck to me that represents uh, someone coming in from the past. So I do feel that it could be someone from the past. But also what I would say is that the Page of Pentacles to me is very clearly someone new. So I do feel it could be uh, a new person. I would say that if it is someone from the past here with that wheel, with the um, star card here, this to me would say that they have healed. Uh, my only concern would be that Ace of Wands. You know, the Ace of Wands can be someone coming back for passion only, and it can also represent a false start. So if you're if you are going back to the past, I would make sure that you that this is something that you're going to 
you know, that where the person's like willing to put in the work with the seven of pentacles, basically. For others, this is you kind of getting ready to take a leap of faith. Three of wands, like waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. And what are you waiting on? You're waiting to make a move on your destiny with the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune really asks us to take control. Like if we have a dream, a vision, something we want to accomplish, the wheel of fortune just says, you know, you, the wheel is always spinning. Whether you control it or not is up to you. How do we control the wheel of fortune with our vibrations? There's a snake on the side of the wheel of fortune and it kind of represents our vibes or the vibes we give off. You have the four cups here. Like I said, some of you could be ignoring an offer from the past. You have the five of cups here as well. Yeah, maybe there are too many disappointments and the seven of swords could have been lying, cheating, stealing with a person from the past. So you might not even go back to the past in the first place for most of you. And most of you might just be focused on new love. For others, I feel like this is, again, saying don't get disappointed if the things you're trying to manifest or if the things that you're working on here don't happen right away. Again, I feel some of you could be like working really hard on a project or something, probably having to do with your freedom with the four wands. So it's like maybe you want to move, maybe you want to travel, maybe you want to start your own business for financial freedom purposes. I feel that you are feeling maybe kind of disappointed because things aren't happening as quickly as you would like. I do get the sense of frustration here as well. And uh, I do feel I'm getting the word connections is popping in demand as well. So it's like maybe you're hoping to make money so that you can be with a person in the first place, right? Um, and Or maybe there's a person you have your eye on and it's like maybe you need money to be with that person or maybe you need to travel to be with a person here. And I feel like some of you could be frustrated because it's like not happening as quickly as you would like. But I do feel the Seven of Pentacles is kind of like saying divine timing like things are happening you do have the devil here again some of you might not be going back to the past uh the queen of swords here that's your energy could be a capricorn you're dealing with and the five of swords here as well like i said some of you could be totally cutting the past out here letting go of someone queen of swords is like saying that you're she has her hand out she's ready to receive and you could just be opening up to new love for others now uh, this is kind of like weird it's a very good reading, but going this way, it's like Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups to the Devil. I feel like there are regrets over toxic behavior in a connection. Seven of Wands, somebody could be defensive here uh, due to toxic behavior. Empress, still feel there's attraction here. Could be someone attractive coming in for you. Knight of Wands, could be a fire sign coming in for you as well. You always get fire in your readings. So if you're looking for love, could be a fire sign, a new fire sign coming in. For others, this could be like a little inconsistency. Again, if you have been dealing with a person who is inconsistent, I would be careful of that because you do have the Wheel of Fortune twice in the round and round card, which is like basically saying don't repeat the same mistake. You have this milk and honey card. I feel like there are good things coming in for you here, Gemini, regardless. And uh, yeah. I feel like this reading is more saying that you're committing to something with that seven of wands and the four of wands as well. I am getting something about contracts here. I feel like this devil is saying like the devil is in the details. So if you're signing any contracts or anything at this time, I would make sure to read the small print. You know, you have this right here, tend to the small details. You know, we're kind of still, even though the retrograde ends this week, you know, we're still going to be in the shadow for a little bit of time. So I would make sure to kind of pay attention to the small details and any contracts or anything like that that you're signing. But this is a really nice reading, Gemini. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. You have this um, a cat spirit says, claim your independence. Some of you could be queen of swords claiming your independence. This is going to lead to empowerment, the empress. So I do feel some of you are becoming more empowered. If you're looking for new love, I would put yourself out there. Empress energy, you are very attractive at this time. So I definitely feel there could be like a lot of success coming in for you. I feel like the most important thing is the Wheel of Fortune. You control your own destiny. You control your own reality. And so I feel like you need to take control and not be too disappointed. Again, Four Cups, it's like Four Cups, he's manifesting things, but it's like he's not seeing it. The problem with the Four Cups is like we could be manifesting something like love, for example, and maybe we get a ton of love offers, um, but maybe they don't look exactly like what we want. This is why I encourage people to date because it's like if you're getting love offers and you're not accepting them, you're telling the universe you don't want love. Like the universe is like, I'm bringing you all this love and you're not accepting it. It doesn't mean you have to marry these people. Just go out on a date, right? And see where it goes. Because sometimes I think like we stop ourselves from love, for example, by not going out on dates. 
because it's like the universe is like, no, I want to teach you something with this person. And it's like, if you don't learn it, then I can't bring you your true love. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying like, don't push things away here with this four cups energy. And again, I'm not saying go out with creeps or anything like that. But, you know, if someone's decent, I would go on the date. I would give people a chance with that four cups. It doesn't even have to be love. This could be something else. Like maybe you're starting a business. Maybe you can't start the whole business. Maybe you can only start a little piece. This is like saying, just get started. It's a step. Like I feel like this is talking about steps for some reason. The Fool says, take the leap of faith. But really nice reading here, Gemini, actually. So definitely a lot of luck coming in for you as well and abundance. So I like that. But thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Gemini, and enjoy your week.